Recently, my OCD has been getting a little bit out of hand. And when this happens, it's normally a red flag that I'm feeling overwhelmed and anxious. So I'm decided I'm going to do another decluttering session. See, as I go through the process, what is really behind all this excessive OCD behavior and what do I need to learn about myself? So if you want to follow along with me, I'm going to do my 10 by 10 challenge where I try and declutter 10 things every day for 10 days, which is part of my OCD problem. The number 10, I have to do everything in sets of 10. So the first place I'm going to start is my bathroom. So I am going to go right to what I think is a bit of a problem. I have an issue with wastage. I don't like wastage in my life. So I literally try and get every single like tiny drop of product and I won't let it go until I'm satisfied that I've got everything out. So I've literally been holding onto this for months. And like another example here. Like this has been sitting upside down for weeks, trying to get every single drop out. Again, another one here. And I have these things sitting around me until I'm completely satisfied. I, I will actually cut this open because I'm sure there's more product in there. So this is my makeup kit. I love makeup and I really appreciate all the makeup I have. I do use it on a regular basis, but I need to let go of things that I'm just holding onto for maybe one day. Like I always keep these little containers for when I'm gonna go traveling. Normally when I'm on holiday, I don't really wear any makeup. So I don't need to really hold onto these and a foundation bottle doesn't really take up that much room. So so I'm using now, so I'm using this as an opportunity to not only declutter, but get organized. I have reorganized my cupboard so I can see exactly what I have, but I've also created like a line of product process. So when I finish a product or I get close to finishing a product, I know I've got another product ready to go. And I'm hoping that this will make me feel at peace with letting go of certain things because I know I've got another product ready to fulfill me and I feel an element of safety and respect in letting that product now go into a recycling bin. Do I sound like a crackpot? Because I feel like a crackpot, but I am admiring the fact that my cupboard looks that little bit more organized. And a couple more things that I can let go of. Makeup that doesn't suit me. This doesn't match my skin tone. I don't know why I bought it in the first place. Anyway, I found a group on Facebook, Marketplace, where you can actually sell makeup that doesn't suit you and you can get a fairly decent price. Now these are quite a pretty nice brands. So hopefully I can put this money towards a thousand dollar project. And that makes me feel at peace with letting this go. I'm getting there. So I found number 10. I, this is one of my favorite Clarins products. It's their beauty flash balm. It's been around for like, I think the 1970s, like a cult product. And no, I'm not getting rid of it, but I've hit number 10. Cause what I can do is actually keep this in my car so that when I'm in the car, I can reapply one of my favorite products on my face while being out and about. I actually feel really good about myself. So yesterday I decluttered 10 things from my bathroom and I'm feeling really proud about myself. I feel like this sense of relief. I'm loving that my bathroom is feeling more organized. And I can actually see the beautiful products that I really value. I'm actually in shock as to how just one day of decluttering 10 things has actually made me feel really good about myself. Anyway, I'm gonna proceed on with this to day two and I'm gonna try and declutter books. But not before changing this one's stinky nappy. You did a poo poo. You did a poo poo. Can I have a kiss please? a moment to enjoy the fact that I've just dropped my books off in a responsible way supporting the community. All right next up I'm going to declutter our pantry and our fridge. All right I'm focusing on the fact that this is an opportunity to tidy and reorganize as well as declutter. <coughs> Feeling a little bit overwhelmed. <laughs> Thanks baby.
kiss. Actually, within about 30 seconds of doing this, I can actually see what we need and actually see all the healthy food that I need to be cooking and using more. The weird things that get into your pantry. Recyclable. I actually think I could be doing 10 things per level in here. So maybe it actually all works out perfectly. Is that right? Yeah. Baby kids. Oh, I'm getting... Okay, this is probably not a good idea to do with kids. Uh, I mean, you're slowing me down. Mm. 10 things in my fridge now. Okay, I'm gonna try and do this as quickly as possible and not think too much about it. We have just a lot of peanut butter happening here. Getting rid of things that have passed their use by date. Ew. Um, things that are unopened that don't belong in the fridge. I'm keeping the beeping as a motivator to do this as quickly as and efficiently as possible. Even more peanut butter. We have five peanut butters. Putting multiple items together to save space. Definitely finished. Up to three. I don't trust that. Four. Five. Going to combine six. S ah, seven. <laughs> nine. One more thing. Ooh. And then we're gonna eat up the bits for dinner. Saving money. And look how more organized my fridge is. Best motivation ever. I was talking to this really lovely lady and she's gone through a hard time recently and she's finally pregnant with a baby girl. So to help me declutter Tiger's dresses, because we are definitely not having any more kids, I found these beautiful dresses I'm so excited about sending off to her. Hey, that's my dress. No, no, no it's, they were once upon a time your dresses now. We let them go and they're oh. really pretty. It's okay. I wanna let them go. You've got lots of Disney clothes that you like to wear now. Yeah. Like Frozen and Barbie. I love those shirts. I love those, but we only send that one. But there's a, there's a baby that's really excited about having them. No! I'm not letting her have it. Next up, I'm decluttering the kids' toys. It's okay, I'm gonna have it. Oh, she can have them now. Yeah. Now tackling my wardrobe. I'm someone who actually regularly declutters, curls, let go of, like, I keep a kind of tight ship when it comes to my wardrobe, so I highly doubt I'm gonna find 10 things, but you never know. I don't know why, but I feel really funny in my tummy, like, uh, like a little bit of anxiety. I don't have anything to be anxious about it. Anyway. Already found two things that I don't love, barely use and appreciate. A third thing, a t-shirt that I never ever wear and I have a friend who I know would actually really love this. Convincing myself that I don't have stuff that I don't appreciate. Confronting. I actually feel like a fraud. Within a matter of minutes, I've managed to find six, no, sorry, 10 things that I was very happy just to quickly release. That means there's lots of other things going on in my wardrobe that I could potentially get rid of, but I've only got my, I'm doing 10. I'm doing 10, I'm stuck at 10. This probably means I need to do another culling vlog, maybe. But this is not a crazy wardrobe. I don't have a crazy amount of stuff, I swear. Maybe I'm just kidding myself. I feel exposed. So this one is gonna be my hardest. I'm probably gonna go over 10, but I know this is a good thing. I'm gonna get rid of the paperwork. The things that I need, uh, how do I explain? I don't even know how to explain this. The bits of paper that I can't get rid of because I need to do something with that paper, but I'm now gonna do something with that paper that I'm supposed to do so I can get rid of it. I really hope this is making sense. I think I'm going somewhere with this. Who would have known? Anyway, paperwork, no more talking. Just do it, do it, can I do it, do it, do it, do it. Reducing the excessive paper piling up in my world. What in my world? Eating dinner off room. Scanning documents that I was meant to scan ages ago, I've now scanned and I can now responsibly recycle and declutter. I'm decluttering so much paperwork, way more than number 10. And I don't care because I'm making progress with my life and it feels so good. I'm actually starting to wonder why I put off all this paperwork for so long. Why am my dogs barking? There's no one there. There's no one there. Hopefully I'm not getting rid of things that I do need to keep, like tax stuff. Yeah. Now I understand why I put this off for so long because actually there was a lot of paperwork I had to sort through and there was a really strong, angry, 
underlying current within me that just wanted to go stuff it. Don't even worry about doing the paperwork and just throw it out. But I didn't. I actually took my time, breathed through it, and just broke down each task at a time and got it done, with the exception of one little thing, which I think I can knock off tonight. I am... The sun has even gone down. That's how much I had to concentrate. Wow. I'm really, really, really proud of myself. That paperwork had been spiling up around me, really contributing to my anxiety and making me feel really crap about myself, thinking I was disorganized. And I knocked it all off in one go. And now I can put this in the recycling bin. That is so satisfying. That bin is, that broken lid is not satisfying though. Don't judge me. Okay, if you wanna judge me, that's fine. I'm gonna get rid of my, well not rid of, I'm gonna get rid of some of, that is 10, of my kids' toys. Now, I have to do this very strategically. They're out of the house right now. They're not gonna notice what's missing and I'm only gonna remove the things that they don't play with anymore. And I will make sure that those items are passed on responsibly. I'll either sell them or I will most likely uh, donate them to charity. In fact, I might actually put something up for free on Gumtree. My kids can't find this stuff because of course they are going to want to take back the things that I'm trying to get rid of, even though they don't play with them anymore. I literally think I sound like a nutcase. Please don't judge me. Actually, most of these, if not all of them, are from the circular economy. <sighs> Four things are already done, and I am really liking getting rid of kids' toys. That makes me sound really mean, but it's frustrating seeing toys that kids don't play with, especially bulky ones that take up a lot of space and make a room look really messy. Just hit a bit of a stumbling block. There are two things I really want to get rid of, but the girls actually still play with these. Maybe I can't hit 10 today. That's okay. I found something that makes it eight. Back on track. I'm literally stuck now on nine. Nine. I found something number 10. Yeehaw. My girls do not need a hat that says kiss me quick. That is not appropriate, so I'm quite happy to release this into the wild where someone else can get kissed quickly. I am almost here. I'm going to now declutter the arts and crafts family cabinet. This is a complete and utter mess. There are about 50,000 things that can be decluttered from here, but I'm getting smarter with this. And instead, I have a paper bag here. I'm going to set the timer on my iPad for 10 minutes. I'm just going to try and beat the clock. And my time starts. The random things you find in your kid's bedroom? I'm going to need more than one bag. Damn, the clock actually beat me. I got a fraction of what I wanted to get done. Okay, I have to let it go. That is what I can do right now with my available resources. Yeah. It was a genuine good 10 minutes. I'm just gonna put this away and I can come back to it another time. Maybe do another vlog, another decluttering vlog for you. What do you think? Hopefully I'm inspiring you to go declutter your own homes. That is if you need to. Actually, I've just put everything back, well, what I could put back. That's actually pretty impressive for 10 minutes. Hmm. Maybe I'm being too hard on myself. Day 10, I can't believe I've done this. Well, not technically yet. So what am I gonna end with? I'm gonna end on a high. So every household has one of those drawers or cabinets or baskets filled with stuff. Weird bits and bobs that don't make sense, don't have a home. This is going to be my high. Day 10, 10 things. And it's going to be so satisfying. I'm being ruthless. Ew. A lot of cords. I even found stuff right up the back. I actually need these. That's kind of handy. Things you find. <sighs> Want to see? Not great, but so much better. Wow, I actually did it. I got through my 10 things for 10 days. Now, let me know what you think of this vlog, whether you'd like more and whether you'd like me to share with you the process internally that I went through and I guess the lessons and the wisdom that I gained from doing this. Comment in the comment box below. I wanna hear from you because Sugar Mama TV 
is back and back with all that lifestyle content that you guys love, value, use and appreciate. I actually feel that now that I've done this, I can have more time with these guys. <laughs>